to the cardiac cycle. The muscles of the heart contract, systole, and relax, diastole, in a continuous sequence, ensuring blood circulates the body. Both blood pressure and blood volume changes in the atria and ventricles as they contract and relax. Step one of the cardiac cycle. Atria and ventricles are relaxed, diastole. So, semilunar valves are closed. This is due to the high blood pressure in the aorta and the pulmonary artery. The atria begin to fill. As blood volume increases, so does blood pressure, forcing the AV valves to open. The ventricular pressure falls below that of the atria. So, again, AV valves are open. Blood begins to fill the ventricles passively. And here I have my diagram of a heart showing stage one of the cardiac cycle, which denotes the blood trickling in passively from the atria to the ventricles due to the atria being relaxed, atria diastole. The ventricles are also relaxed, so ventricular diastole. AV valves open, semilunar valves closed. So blood begins to fill the ventricles passively until the atria contract, step two. So step two, the atria contract, systole, whilst ventricles relax, diastole. And again, here in this diagram, I show the heart with the atria contracted, systole, and the ventricles relaxed, so ventricular diastole. Again, we can see here that we have blood flow from the atria into the ventricles due to the AV valves being open and semilunar valves at this stage are still closed. So the atria contract, which increases blood pressure in the atria whilst decreasing blood volume. Blood is forced into the ventricles, slightly increasing blood pressure in these chambers. Now in step three, the ventricles contract and the atria relax. So again, I have my diagram of the heart showing stage three of the cardiac cycle. And here again, we can see the ventricles have now contracted ventricular systole, whilst the atria are relaxed, atria diastole. This time, due to the AV valves being closed, blood is now forced through the open semilunar valves into the aorta and pulmonary arteries. So step three, the ventricles contract and the atria relax. As the ventricles contract, the blood pressure increases, lowering volume in these chambers as blood is forced through the semilunar valves to the aorta and the pulmonary artery, since blood pressure is higher in the ventricles than in the arteries now. Because blood pressure and volume is higher in the ventricles than in the atria, blood is forced to the lungs and the body and the whole cycle continues. 